Okay. Today, what I'm going to try to do is show you how I personally shoot a slingshot. Um, I shoot over the top, meaning that my bands are coming over the top as opposed to around the side. And um, I would say if you're just learning how to shoot, I would probably come to full draw against my face and sort of learn how to shoot that way. Um, there's another way of shooting. There's all sorts of ways of shooting. Some people actually bring their arm all the way back like this. It's called full butterfly. I shoot what they call is probably three quarter butterfly. So I come out back to about there. And um, you know, when I make a release, I try to come back straight, just like I would if, if I was shooting a bow. So the reason I shoot these flat bands is for consistency. So when I come to full draw, I'm aiming, I want to line these bands up so that they're lined up like, like that, uh, so to speak. So things aren't tweaked like that. I'm aiming down the slingshot like that, but I'm lining up those bands. Um, you can see when I come to sort of full draw how I want them lined up sort of like that. So I don't want things tilted like that or like that. I line things up and then the next thing I want you to think about is this is the top of your frame right here. So this is how I aim with a slingshot. Um, For those of you that have shot a rifle in the past, think of this as your crosshair. And then what I do is I'm aiming with my frame. So I'm putting the frame essentially like that. And I'm thinking of the, the tip of the frame as the center of my crosshairs. And that's how eventually you're gonna aim. But to learn, what we're going to do is you just come come to a consistent anchor point, pick one on your face. Like I said, that's probably the best place to start. And then get those bands lined up, like I said, straight up like that. And then put this frame, the top of the frame, where you'd like to hit it on a cardboard box with a dot on it. And then... You take your first shot and you see where those holes are and hopefully all your holes are you know in a spot that's pretty consistent if they're all over the place that means your form is not yet uh you know consistent if the dots are in a tight little group but nowhere near the dot we can work with that uh, so you'll need a tight little group first and then so if if my group is all low and right so if everything that I'm aiming at say this is the bullseye is hitting over here low and right then I want to take my crosshairs which in your mind is going to be this top of your frame and then move it high and left to compensate so I'm pretty dialed in with this slingshot and I'll show you afterwards, I'll turn it around and I'll hit some of these metal targets. But if you're just learning, I suggest putting a dot on the cardboard and seeing where all your dots end up. So, you know, this is just for instance, if all your, if you're shooting and your hole ends up way to the right like that, see if we can't repeat that. You know, everything is going to the right, then I want to bring my frame over to the left. Once you start getting consistent and everything's ending up in the same spot, you're on you're on, on the right track. If all of your dots are all over the place, then you gotta work on your form. But uh, you know, again, if you're just learning, I would come to full draw on your face, pick a spot, and just come to the same spot every time. In the beginning you just want consistency. Um, I've been shooting 
slingshot since probably 1975 ish so these flat bands are new to me but the whole concept I've, I've done since I was a kid so now I'm gonna try to aim for that dot and we'll see how close I can get and then I'll turn around and show you some of my metal targets so that was just like an inch to the right so when I'm aiming for me personally with this slingshot I'm putting this frame about in you know depending on how far I am but I'm putting the frame essentially where the crosshairs are if the crosshairs were there I'm aiming a little high left if that makes sense so again I'm going to aim for that dot and that time I was like half an inch to the left so if you have any questions go ahead and hit me up but in the meantime, I'll turn this around. And hopefully you can see some of those metal targets that I have set up on that stick. These are fun because when you hit them, they make a nice chime sound. Um, <coughs> with enough practice, you can get really accurate with slingshots. So, uh, we'll get the big red one first. See, that's fun. The other thing about slingshots is they work much better in the summer when the bands are hot. Oh, by the way, use safety glasses when you're first learning. I don't. You should. Um, I tend to come to draw like that so that if the bands were going to snap they would snap now rather than in my eye but uh... let's make some more tings oh that time I missed beauty is you don't have to go chase your misses like an arrow and we got it it's really a lot of fun uh, like I said, with some practice, you can become really accurate. The secret is, you know, come to full draw, do all your aiming, still pulling straight back, never collapsing on the shot. If you collapse on your shot, everything is going to go to hell. Always be pulling back, always pull straight back, and uh, have fun with it. You know, shoot cans, lighters are a lot of fun. You know because they explode uh, you can build a catch box which is essentially shooting into like a cardboard box put a towel in the back and get all your ammo back let's see if I can't hit a small one at this point pressures on and I missed let's see if I can't get it this time I call this running the gauntlet if I can do all the targets in a row Oh, barely got it. But anyway, that's the idea. All slingshots are, you know, the same in the sense that you're not going to find one that's more accurate than any other. Just find one that fits your hand, put in the practice, and uh, man, they sure are a lot of fun. Alright, be well, aim small.